G'day, Facebook. How we doing? It's Man Talk for another Monday. How are we? Hello, boys. How are we? How we doing? Hello, hello, hello. Hey, everybody. What's going on? What's going just on? Man, just had a good man sing. Get some you did have a good man good. sing. I'm just going to uh, I think fix... we had to do a mic. Man Talk. Talk man Talk. Talk man Talk. Talk man Talk. Talk man Talk. How we doing, chat? How are we? Welcome on in. We've had a bit of a change of layout. Um, as you know, it was um, Tim's last regular appearance last week. So um, I'm in the position I was last week, even though I had swapped. And Betson's got the jerk spot up there. Look at that. Are you feeling um, tickle, 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 feeling good tickle, up there? Tickle, tickle. Look at you, right? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so me and Asher, like, me and Asher like, just got to start like fighting over every single thing we can fight about now because we're in this you know retaliation position right here now shut up jared yeah shut, shut your up. face yeah, I feel like, like battle, nice battle backwards hat man drawn, <laughs> and uh it's, it's team lloyd and betson versus team ash and jared oh yes. i've been on lloyd's team oh, oh yeah. well okay that's okay wait because you do all the talking is that it yeah no um yeah, we yeah. got we got new stuff we got <laughs> new stuff wales it was Jared and Silent Lloyd, remember? We've got New South Wales oh. here and we've got Victoria over there. Oh, over there. Oh, oh. shit. You Ooh. literally have created a straight up border. That's it. It's, it's, a, it's a blue ring of steel. It's just yeah. the... <laughs> All right. That's guys it. Lockdown over there? <laughs> no, you guys, you guys are staying at home. We're in, we were in lockdown. But yeah, I probably won't be yeah, on we're not. too long tonight, but I just want to be on for a little bit tonight just uh, to talk about a few things, I guess. But... Uh, Yes, uh, still locked down in Sydney, unfortunately. Um, how are you guys doing in Victoria? Do you guys have any like cases at all or anything going over there? Nah, Victoria's um, pretty chill. It's certainly not like fucking not the hundreds bad. like you guys are. Calm down. Hundreds? You mean two hundreds? <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. All right, anything yeah, you can do, we can do better. I, I was reading, I was scrolling through Facebook. It's like, experts believe it's going to be 400s by the end of the week. I'm like, oh, I would believe that. There are a lot of idiots out there. So, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. COVID. I reckon a lot of the idiot, yeah. the problem is a lot of the idiots that were protesting that aren't the ones going to get get tested. So we're not going to no, know the true no, no. number. Like there's no idea. There could be four hundred yeah, now. We don't exactly. know. Yeah. Jody's super loud. Am I really? Okay. I'll turn myself down. I'll turn myself right down if you want. Sa you sound fine to me. Yeah. yeah I, uh, I mean, I'm in the yellow. I'm in the yellow. That's okay. He's in the yellow. I'm in the yellow. That's okay. I've got the I've got the levels here. We're all in yellows. Mm. Good. What's been happening, Betson? What have you been up to, mate? What's going on? Uh, not a whole lot for me, man. Not a whole lot. Just uh, living my life. Things are Ooh. going well. Uh, you know, there's some, some work good news, finally. Finally. Uh, so things are heading on up. Betson will be doing different things in the workplace, which is exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you know, if, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everything's coming up Millhouse. Hey, no. Well, so, so you're getting paid for hand jobs now? Yeah, no, no. I used to, I used to have some <laughs> extra freebie on the back end, but you know, it's like <laughs> no, like that's bingo. Sorry, sorry, Ryan. Oh, tell, us about what, tell us about what you're doing now. Like, what what is this new thing that you're doing? Because it's oh. got a pretty cool, funky name. Oh, but my my new gig. Yeah. Well, it's not entirely locked in yet, so I can't oh, be like, can't. Mm. Duh, 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 like you know, oh. sh tooting yeah. my way around the world. But uh, uh, yeah, no, the future does look good for Betson in the workplace, and which um, yeah. Other than that, yeah, life's been pretty sweet, man. Lockdown is done in in Victoria. <laughs> uh, we can't have friends over because of fucking Delta. But other than that, we're <laughs> we're, we're pretty sick. <laughs> You know, think things are all right. We can go. We I like. We could go hang out in a park. It's like it's like we're oh, fourteen again. Get don't excited, be, man. Don't yeah. be saying that. Hanging out in a park. Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> things are dreams are made in, in parks and parking lots. Yeah. You know, it's exciting. Oh, it's mm. the best thing ever. You take a you know cask of wine, your your finest box of wine, and uh, you blow up the the goon bag when you're done. You use it as a pillow for when Macca's you pass cups, out. Throw up on yourself. Great. Yeah, go to Macca's, you get your cup, you, you yeet the soft drink, and you just fill that shit full of booze. <laughs> That's how it works. What about you, Lloyd? Have you done any park drinking this week? Oh, no park drinking this week. No, no, I've kept uh, I've kept the drinking at, at home. But um, yeah, That's very, no. That's very with... uh, uh, disrespectful of you. Uh, oh, to, yeah, I apologize. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, not much, not much is uh, new in in my world really. Uh, being back at work, um, so the cafe has been really good. We do still have restrictions on numbers which a lot of people don't realize because the news goes, oh, you can have 100 inside and you can have 300 outside. But 
there is a still that density limit. So for our size cafe, it's only 25 inside we can have, and then we can have as many as we want outside. So, um, so that's Stop been fun. sandwiches through the window, like yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> Who wanted the coffee? <laughs> <laughs> it was like um, when. Uh, Gladys's uh, pref- press conference was saying, now, if you do it, you're an Uber driver, make sure that you don't go to their door if, yeah, if possible. Do deliveries <laughs> from your car. If you you can. see all the videos of them just yeeting a sandwich straight out the window <laughs> to their door. You're like, <laughs> you've got to stand out the Gladys front like they do it. To do it. At the Olympics, where they come past with the bike riders, you just got to stand out there with your hand extended and just wait for them to put a That's right. kebab in it when yep. they go and play pass. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, not much, not not much is happening. Just trying to get back into a normal rhythm of things again. The lockdown always, always just throws everything out the window, and it's uh, yeah, it's very hard to get back into into motivation mode when you're when you're locked at home. I, mate, you guys up uh, New South Wales way, six weeks now, is it? Yep. This is your sixth week. Mm, yep. No. Oh, longer. It has to be. Feels really? like it. it yeah, no, it's been it, it two, feels two. much longer. Twenty twenty was the longest like decade in in Melbourne history. We've had it was yeah. hot. We've had two weeks, and then this is our fourth week of homeschool. Why do I know that? Because I've got three kids, and they're doing my heading. Um. Yeah. yeah so this <laughs> yeah, is week you six. Four bastards, and yep. like, oh man, I honestly hope things pick up for you guys very soon because yeah. Being from Victoria and knowing what we went through last year and how shit just get pushed further and further back, it sucks. So, yes, I don't know whether you're better off having one big lockdown like we have, or you're having like you guys had what five or six little lockdowns. Like, I'm so like I'm sorry, but New South Wales has not had one big lockdown. Like it's it's been. <laughs> Like no, we, no, no, no. We've been asked to, to stay at like, home. <laughs> asked to stay we, at home. We did, we did have a like a, a semi lock, like a semi. <laughs> we had a semi lockdown a last semi. year, <laughs> like because I remember I went home to work for like eight months, and uh, like I think it was mainly like, you know, if like pretty much workplace was saying if you can keep them home, keep them home. It was like a kind of like it's like yeah, yeah, we're, we're locked down, but we're kind of chill about it, you know. Whereas Victoria was like, yeah. You know, like everything's on fire. Yeah. 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 This is not fine, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. No. no. What have you been doing? Actually? Base. No, oh, sorry. Sorry. Well, no, this is this is it took forty three episodes, but this is the first episode that I'm speaking to you in double digit land. So <gasps> um yes, yeah. So it's uh dun, dun, I, dun. 99.7 yeah. Ash FM. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Sex FM. <laughs> it's, it's, in, it's like it was. It was. A hell, it's a hell of a journey. Still going, but uh, I've you know started 160.7 and I've lost 61 kilos to be just under 100 kilos where I'm sitting now. It's been a very, very, very long time since I've been uh, under 100. Thank golf clap. Golf clap. Um, Snaps yep, thank you. Proper clap. No golf clap. Proper. I will <laughs> throw my underwear yeah. at you if I could, Ash. If you're wearing you sent me enough, you, you, sent, you sent me enough pictures of them. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, so I'm pretty uh, pretty wrapped with that. Um, I'm a little bit under the weather at the present moment, so I'm going to stick around for like the first little bit of this one. So there there is going to be prizes given away, but there's, the the wheel is going to be replaced by I don't know. Jared's going to pick something I've out got of a hat. Some, we'll, 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 we can we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll, sort, yeah. So we'll roll a d6. But, or something. Uh, but otherwise, like uh, yeah, it's just been Groundhog Day. Like you know, yeah, as soon as as soon as the alarm goes, like. You put what, what's the song? I got you, babe. And it's just like I wake up, it's like oh put your God. little hand in Working mine. Again. Mm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's that, that's yeah, exactly Felt that. Started, yeah. Um, and uh, oh, yeah, got some new um, uh, non branded gel Keanos today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> cool. yeah, Reeboks, uh, Reeboks are yeah, doing the gel Keanos now, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So uh, there was some brand I forget, you know. Yeah, the, the black and gold. Source. LDs, yeah. Guys. yeah, pretty much. But uh, yeah, I got the uh, twenty-seven platinums. I bought them uh, from some bloke who, who who had them, didn't like them, only wore them like once, and sold them to me for cheap. So 
There you go. Sick. Second hand go. shoes. That's how you know shit's getting hard. But, no, but legit, like they look brand new out of the box. Like I was like, holy crap! And I had to like verify that they're real. Like, I, like I was like, he's he's sold me dodgy shoes. He hundred percent. But no, mate, they check out. Oh, mate, probably looked and went, oh, that, they're that that brand. That brand shit and threw them out. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't just like a white van <laughs> parked at the local shopping center with like a whole heap of boxes in the back, was it? And there are a bunch of band shirts where everything's printed slightly up and to the left. Yeah. Like it's never in the center of the shirt. Uh, the guy I bought him off, he kept pulling me close and saying, my friend, my friend. <laughs> I That's so good. Uh, there you go. Um, so you, you've had some pretty, pretty amazing things happening in the last two weeks. Me? Oh, I actually I had I had the um I not um weight loss talk related um other extensional stuff that we do outside of this um I had the biggest I had the biggest week of my streaming career um last week I I had like two hundred and six I think in one stream and I was averaging one hundred and thirty for another stream so I had like the one of the biggest weeks ever playing flight sim and then that disappeared and then I'm back to normal so that's okay but hey. Yeah. Um, no, it's what been about, it's been what about absolute those well placed mugs you have on your desk there? What's going oh, on with that? Oh, these oh these mugs actually that's yeah, kind of what I was cool. alluding to, bro. <laughs> oh, okay, that's all right. Um, yes, well, if you're out there, not the plug. Everyone makes fun of me plugging. You can um, plug. We allow the but plug. But this is going to benefit everyone fun. out there because this is grassroots plug, man. This you is going to benefit everyone out there. Um, if you guys at all are interested in PC gaming stuff, go to scorptech.com.au, right? Sign up to an account. Scroll down the bottom of your account. There'll be a black bar that will say member code. Put in Jerd, and you'll get discounts. Not across everything, but a, a large range on the website. You'll get discounts. Like that big mug's five bucks off. I think one of the other things I checked out the other day was like sixty bucks off. So if you're interested, if you're a game or whatever, scorptech.com.au. Go to your member the, account, put in Jerd. There you go. The thing that Jerd's not selling here, ladies and gentlemen, he made this happen <laughs> from like. <laughs> complete nothingness he's like you know what fuck this i'm gonna pimp my way to scorp tech and sure enough through hard work and shameless shameless showing <laughs> he's come out on top yeah like, <laughs> there, there, there were drunk texts and everything he's like come on scorp like, tech. 2 hey, Scorp-Tech, you love, you up. love me <laughs> please <laughs> Yeah, now the, um, in, in jokes aside, I did buy a whole bunch of stuff last year when I did my upgrades. Um, so they do have good prices. Like, that's the thing. I don't flog shit. I do flog a fair bit of stuff. I don't flog it, though, if it doesn't work. Like, if Manshake didn't work, I wouldn't be flogging it. If the other product that I drink that I won't name here because I don't want to cross-promote. Speaking if that, if that stuff... If, if that, that forever. Sorry? I've heard you talk about that product in forever. Mm. I, I try not to on here because it's, you know... Um, that other product that I have that a lot of people know I drink, um, I, I talk that up because it's great and I love it. Um, and same with Scorp Deck. Their prices are cheap and they're even cheaper with the code. There you go. Anyway, standing desks are good too. Um, yeah, speaking of that, um, Richard just asked, yeah, get us, if, you, if you're at home during lockdown or doing a lot of work, like even just me moving around is, is better than sitting on my ass five hours a night out here. So. Counts the steps. Yeah. Oh, I, I, need to, I need to start wearing that thing again. But yeah, no, it's really good. Like the other night, I, I was, I think I stood up for about four hours of the stream the other night just to get the blood going. And yeah, it's good. I, re- I recommend this to Endes. I really do. Anything to get you active. And it's, it's all those little things that I've tried to do. It doesn't take much, like, like walking upstairs at the shops, stuff like that. Like if you just change a few things, like just having the standing desk may affect me in a positive way. It should affect me in a positive way. So yeah, there you go. Other than that, situation normal. Homeschooling. Uh, yeah, that, that's the thing. Uh, teachers need more money. If you're a teacher out there, you deserve every money you get. Um, and yeah, situation normal, really. Yeah, so. my son's four, and I don't want to. I kind of don't want him to see five because I'm. Just, I just want to kick the shit out of him. Yeah, because like he he is energy like like personified. So mm. taking him away from kinder for the x amount of weeks, I'm like, I'm gonna die. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the yeah. thing is, is that they, they eventually learn like t- the, the value of TV. So, like, unless you <laughs> binge watch like SpongeBob, like freaking crazy. It's like, she, as soon as she got home this afternoon, she reached for the room where I'm like, SpongeBob? And she goes, Yes, yeah, SpongeBob, Dad. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> yeah. We've gone yeah. through all no, of No, this is Patrick. Mark. We've gone through this PJ Masks. We've gone through uh, Paw Patrol. 
We've gone through it. You name it, and James has probably watched it already. Like he, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. So, oh, he loves Mickey Mouse. Yeah, Clubhouse. We, that was that was a staple with my kids. I bet you guys watch it. Miraculous. What is miraculous? It's uh, some animated show about some superhero ladybug um, and a cat, and uh, it's it, it, it's 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 spe- set in uh, like Paris, and mm. uh, you can tell that they it's like dubbed over from French, but uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Alyssa yeah. loves it. So it's, it's like Sailor Moon, but like oh, it's computer generated. So he's also, my son's also been getting into uh, into uh, uh, Power Rangers as well. Uh, so we've been, we've been watching the old school like '90s Power Rangers. Oh, and nice. Having a, we're having a bit of a like just Ooh. hanging out watching fucking Pink Ranger. I'm like, hey, Kimberly, what's up? <laughs> it hasn't changed that much. It's still the same. Like I was watching oh, the kids are watching it now, out. and it's like, I think the monsters right. have gotten better because they're making monsters that are like bike tires and oh, that bike tires mutant, and then all of a sudden it's a bike so, tire uh, monster. <laughs> So with the with the colors of the Rangers, how they were set in the original series, do you think that they can get away with that to, in today's no, day? No, they have switched that up actually. Like I think a Green Ranger yeah. was a woman now, and oh, really? they, they did. Thankfully, they weren't like, "Hey, you're black. Wear the black one." You're yeah. A, the some black sort guy of, is gonna be the black Asian. Ranger, <laughs> and yeah. the, the Asian girl, yeah, Yellow Ranger. There you yeah. go. Yeah. You're a white woman. Here's pink. You know. Yeah. And thankfully, nice. they've kind of switched that up a little bit. No, that's it. Um, mm. Okay, so Ash is not going to be here long. You said he's not feeling well, um, which is fair enough. Mm. So got, what he's we'll got do the diarrhea, we'll start... ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Liquid sit downs. That's what he's got. That's it. He's been we holding it in well... this whole time. Sphincter control. Intense. You know it's bad when you're you're peeing out your butt. When, once you start peeing out your butt, you know it's bad. Mm. You know you just got to. Mm, I'm now I'm now let's, peeing let's out my butt. Say... Like, let's just say that the, all respect for the butthole is gone. Uh, <laughs> uh, shitting through uh, the eye of a needle. Oh. <laughs> so that's the thing. How do you think you got to 99? Shitting. Just that's hard it. shitting. Deep. Um, so Ash had a, um, Ash had a Martin, very, very... Martin, do these gents ever discuss weight loss? No. Nah. We're no, just we about to. First time you oh, do. Sorry, bro. Not. Yeah, we, we are. We are. But like, yeah, Martin, like, I mean... First time you like, This is... Yeah, this is forty three episodes in, and uh, like we pretty much covered so many topics yeah. on weight loss, and we we get to it, and we also we just have about like to. Uh, we were just about to get to yeah, it. yeah, we're just about to get into weight loss topics, but we just kind of yeah. have a bit of chat, you know, just get people you know into our stories, get to know us a little bit before we go. Hey guys, let's talk about cheat meals. Like we've yeah, we've but been. If you like, do have any questions, me, put them in the comments. Like me and Lloyd have been in the, in the Manshake system for like two years plus. Mm. So like, and Ash and Betson started like. Early last year, early last year, yeah. So like we we've been involved in the in the ecosystem for quite a while. So we do like to chat about random stuff because this is like a catch up, and you know what I mean. Like, yeah, every everyone that's on Facebook and on the group and that we we chat about weight loss and health stuff. Like we're everyday blokes. We do everyday, everyday things. Like you know, we are human. <laughs> um, scorp tape bucket. Yeah, I love a scorp tape bucket. Um, yeah, but so, legit, I, I don't, I don't have the trots. Like Ryan made that up. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> like everyone's thinking, God, Ash is just about to, about to shoot himself. Everyone's just <laughs> eagerly watching your camera. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he just shouted. I think he just shouted. Okay, uh, I got, I got, I got a sinus infection. My face is killing me. Yeah. Um, at the minute, so he is accepting yeah. all donations of gastro stop. <laughs> gastro stop, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sponsored um, by Imodium tonight. Yeah, so yeah. Imodium. <laughs> Need some hydro light. Um, hey, let's get right. into the topic. All right, Ash. Ash has Ash um chatted with us this um the last couple of days and said he's got a very very special mention that we want to give um a little something something too. So um Ash, you wanna you wanna go for it. Yeah, yeah. So um, you, we usually do a randomized prize draw kind of thing, but um, I decided I'm going to pull rank here and I think we should give it to this very special person, myself, for being seen with you three idiots. Nah, um, <laughs> <laughs> nah look, I want to give a massive congratulations and I think that everyone in the Manchester community would also agree with me when this person has deserved uh, a you know a prize from the spin wheel. Uh, so is where you a- hold? And you let everyone in the chat think it's them for a minute. And like, wait, is it me? <laughs> Not only has he um, uh, <laughs> start, it, like he's just had this incredible transformation in such a short <clears throat> amount of time. It's Adrian Mitchell. Uh, he has lost 98 kilos. That's a whole ash. 
that's pretty much me, like 1.7 kilos wow. over, like under me. So that is incredible. His transformation has been something that, like to lo and behold, like I, I'm not sure whether we have any pictures uh, set up. This is man talk, so we probably don't. But uh, he's uh, been sharing his journey uh, since the, the very start. He sh- uh, he's posted up some incredible transformation pictures, like the difference in his face, like the the picture from day one, like he is laying down on the ground and he is like, you know, seriously like channeling the inner Jabba the Hutt kind of thing, you know, and he has trimmed down so much and he is just, you can't, we can't waver this guy at all. Mm. And he gives a lot to the community. He's always on uh, my live streams, always on uh, uh, the Man Shakers page. And uh, for that and for his uh, hard work, I'm going to award him a ultimate uh weight loss pack from uh, yeah. the match shake. So congrats, Adrian. And you've done massive, a fantastic job. Massive effort, man. I hope keep he's up, here. Keep up the, yeah, he's he is. Keep he's up the great yep. work, Adrian. Yeah. Smash yeah. out. Yeah. And Absolutely he plays a big part it. in the community too. Like he's Smash always it. commenting on a lot of people's posts and always sharing his story. And, and that's what it's all about. It's all about helping each other and motivating each other. And oh, right. proof is in the pudding. Yeah, we did the math. Uh, I did the math today. He has lost 1.15 average Australian males. Like a whole wow. human, like literally a whole human. Crazy, absolutely yeah, nuts. Like you, you've lost one and a half of my misses. Like, mm. yeah, like it, it's yeah, it's wow. crazy. In my terms, it's fifty bags of potatoes. Fifty yeah, bags of yeah, potatoes. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Fifty bags of potatoes. Boom. Yeah. Pop that. Mm. Pile up fifty bags of potatoes. Next time, next time at Coles, um, just pile up fifty just bags of potatoes and just like, have a look. Yeah, they probably don't even stock fifty bags. No, they probably don't. They wouldn't. Nuts. So, um, just yeah. everyone in the shops sure is like, this guy surely likes potatoes. He's like, I used to weigh this much. No, that's just awesome. And, um, yeah, Adrian, we're super proud of your effort. And, like, I, I, look, I was kind of hoping that you'd hit that 100 kilo mark for this, you know, thing, but 98 kilos, I wanted to give it to you. I was just like, I was like, nah, let's give it to him. Um, so, like, <laughs> see, this ultimate pack will get him across that line. Yeah. And then we can claim the success too. That's all. That's it, we get the rub. Like he wouldn't yeah. have done it if it wasn't for us getting him over that last little bit. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Yeah, that's still trying. There you go. <laughs> he just needs a case of Ash's gastro. He'd be fine. <laughs> ninety-eight Oop. point ninety-eight point eight. <laughs> ridiculous. Ninety-eight point eight. Amazing. Never that's ridiculous. Fire, Never how much? And like, how much? How much is? How much do you want to lose? Up? What's your Adrian? If obviously you're there, what is? How much more do you want to lose? And what is your ultimate end goal? I think he's around share. 100. I think he's at about 150 at the minute, right? And like, it, it really goes to show because there's like a few big blokes that have lost, you know, t- you know, 200, you know, erring on the side of 300 kilos that have just done just minimal changes just with the man shake and they've lost incredible amounts of weight like Mick yeah. and you know and Adrian like I mean they're the two that really spring to mind and I think that uh you know it, it can really be a positive lesson for a lot of those blokes who think it's I'm too big I only have surgery as an option or I mm. you know I can't make such a drastic change I can't be that person but really, like I mean, you know, a- Adrian, I- I'm I'm really keen to hear, you know, what your thoughts are and how it's been as a experience on a whole for you because you've done a fantastic job, mate. So he reckons he can get another thirty to forty five. So he's like, oh, I could get another the entire amount that Ryan has lost on this journey. Yeah. Well, mate, he's like, if I can get another thirty, bro, you lost a hundred kilos. Like, let's just round up. Everything is get win from thing. here. Yeah. I think once uh, there's a bit of a psychological thing. I was obviously not as big as, and neither was Ash. We weren't as big as Adrian, but I mean, there's a psychological barrier. Once you get, say, if you've got like, you know, 60, 70, 80, 100 kilos to lose, once you, once you lose about 30, you think, okay, well, nothing's going to stop me. Adrian's lost 98.8. Another 30 or 40 kilos, mate. That's, mate, it, yeah. you can do that without a doubt. I've got no questions whatsoever. Ash, are you right, mate? You want to head off? No, uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, I, f- I figured we'll, I'll stick around for another few minutes while we get into uh, the probably the next topic. Sorry. Okay. I'm just, uh, no, you're good, man. Massaging you, want to take, you can take yeah. a break if you want. <laughs> I'm good. good. I'm good. Okay, sorry. Yeah, so like this, yeah, you know I will. Exactly, Adrian. Yeah, and I I was in, you know, I was that motivated. I'm, I know exactly how you're feeling. Well, not exactly, but I mean like 
that drive is there and that fire is lit. So I have no question whatsoever that you're going to lose the rest that you want to lose. So yeah, uh, GG. He's going to be the next guy on a bus, mate. Hundred yeah. percent. Next guy on a bus, Adrian Mitchell, right there. Yeah. Adrian lost a hundred kilos on the man shake, and then fuck that you... jerk guy. <laughs> man shake. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> Um, Losing 80 kilos, that's so 2019. Oh, what an absolute <laughs> loser. <laughs> loser. Um, he only lost double digits? Jesus. <laughs> mate. 40 bags of potatoes? Just 50 bags over here. Um, go all in on this one. All right, well, we might, we might as well discuss the freaking topic that I guess Everyone's that here to talk people, about. people want to the chat Olympic. about, I guess. The Olympics. <laughs> yeah. That Aussie guy today, if you didn't see, that Aussie guy he, hit the deck hard and he got back up and he went again. He went again. Okay. Ooh, Man, the amount of people that got mounted on the trampoline was amazing. <laughs> so we're going to talk about a really important topic here today, the ecological impact of plover nesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, it is a warning. Plover season is a coming. And uh, I literally am scared to leave my house. I got chased by a swan today. Yeah, that was... That was, that was did, did you not say stop That's looking at me, swan? I should have. Did you get attacked by a swan too? Uh, <laughs> no, looking at me, Schwan. Geese. Goose. Um, Jess, Jess or a plumber today? Did you fuck it up? Did you swear at it? I swear at every plumber that I see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Screw them. But I think, I think uh, tonight's uh, hot topic um, can be described in one word burgers. Yeah. Yeah. Burgers. Ooh. Burgers. Yeah. Um, you said one so, word. You said that one word eleven times. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's summed up. Yeah, that's, that's basically to be, it. So, to be fair, um, Benson, you've, you've got I'm to not, say it multiple, multiple times to get the point across. Yeah, it's you've like, got to say it's like it candy man. It's, it's like candy. It's man. having the gravi the gravitas in your voice. You know, you burgers. Yeah, candy man. burgers. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so look, when it, when it comes to, to it, there's um, all sorts of ways to lose weight. We've discovered that there's no one way that one size that fits all to lose weight. There's no one recipe for success. Everyone has their own ways of doing things. And, uh, and you may have seen a lot of press about uh, uh, burgers, eating burger every day with uh, the man shake will keep the obesity away. And uh, like we, you know, uh, Brad, uh, Bradley uh, Howard, who's here in the chat right now, he uh, has really driven uh, his signature move, uh, if you were a wrestler, as being the burger cult and uh, having a burger each day in cooperation with the man shake. He's lost 35 kilos. He did a fat chat with me and the man shake featured a bit of his story and his recipes of burgers on uh, the man shake page. What this has uh, then led to happen is that on the man shakers page, so many people are posting up their burgers and they're saying burger, 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 this burger, that. And a few people, other, other, you know, group members, uh, haven't taken offense to it, but they're just like, God damn it. Another burger. Like, God. Um, and I, you know, we, of course we're going to talk about this cause it has been like a hot topic for the last day and a half, I would say. Um, but I wanted to get your guys thoughts on the burger cult burgers you know like uh i'm i'm all for any any kind of thing that works for you and uh you know helps you lose weight and be happy but uh what, what what's your what's your thoughts on the oversaturation of burgers right now oh guys i'll, I'll jump in um look to, for me to lose weight i did i did a few things i did intermittent fasting which is not for everyone when i tell people what i did i say it's not for everyone um when i chat about anything that i've used to lose weight that's what's worked for me. Everyone's different. Every fact is different. If you work different hours, you would do different things. There's a whole different variables with this thing. If you're able to have two burgers or whatever for lunch and dinner and lose weight, more power to you. My issue is when you're saying that, but you're doing 20,000 steps a day, you're working, you work, you've got hard work, you're, you're slogging your ass out. Joe Blow, who's just come in, who burgers might be his main source of um, self-loathing. Like he might be addicted to burgers. He might be addicted to fast food. And he doesn't want to come in, being on behalf of me here, if I was a new member, I wouldn't want to come in seeing burgers plastered everywhere. I get that you have a right to pick what your thing is. But for me, I wouldn't want to see that. I'm, I'm coming here to escape that. 
if, if that's your thing that you do, fine. I have a burger once a week now, pretty much. Well, when I could go out, I can't go out anymore. So, <clears throat> But mm. I've got, yeah, I, it, it just doesn't sit right with me. Um, you know what I mean? It doesn't sit yeah. right with me that um, I'm it's not going exactly to work for, same. it's not going to work for a normal bloke out there who's smashing fast food and shit. It's not going to work. I feel the same. I feel the same way, Jared. Yeah. Um, and I think even like lockdown shows me that as well. Uh, because I go, I went from working ridiculous amount of hours in the cafe, working day and night, um, <clears throat> having my two shakes, having a meal and I would, I'd lose the weight. No dramas. I find that since being in lockdown this past 18 months, like on and off the, t the weeks that I'm at home, I I'll have my shakes. I'll have my snacks. I'll have a healthy meal and I'll do that. And I'll be religiously perfect but i'm just not getting in the steps I'm, I'm at home i'm just doing the just the normal stay at home kind of thing during lockdown and my weight goes nowhere um so like what what you do for an everyday thing i think will determine on how well eating a burger every day can be and also you got to you got to change things up with your food and that as well. Like, should be a lot more fruit and veggies and, yeah. Look, there, there, there's so many thoughts and uh, preconceived conceptions when it comes to weight loss and, uh, you know, that you should be eating, you know, steamed chicken, broccoli and all that and, you know, yeah. doing that kind of stuff. And uh, the man shake has really taught me and I think, you know, hundreds of, you know, thousands of uh, Australian blokes out there that you, you don't necessarily need to give up the things that you love. Right. Um, and I understand what, how the internet kind of works. I understand that burger cults are hot right now. Everyone's going to be posting up pictures of burgers, but what, uh, what I think a lot of people are trying to say uh, to the burger cultists is remember that there are a lot of blokes who are really struggling with a lot of food addictions and a lot of issues when it comes to food and making right choices and learning about nutritional values and, and everything. And though a lot of the burgers that you post are inherently not that bad for you, you know, like four or 500 uh, calories, you know, per burger, that's fine. But, um, you know, some, some, some people maybe taking issue with the flooding of the, the, the burgers on the page because they are trying to teach themselves new healthier habits and learn new recipes, something outside of that sort of fast foody kind of burger centric diet. And while I don't, I honestly, and I said this to nauseam last night in my live stream, I, I, honestly have no problem with you posting up your meals and saying i'm proud that i'm doing good work and i'm trying to make it as healthy as i can i got no problem with that at all but understand that if if there's a page you know devoted about man shakes and blokes getting healthy and there's 50 posts every day about burgers what kind of message does that send to brand new members so i you know just try to think of it as new member coming in new bloke just getting started on the man shake has tried all these different weight loss uh, journeys in the past and has struggled he's on his last attempt before he has to go look at weight loss surgery and he's seeing nothing but burgers like that to me is more important than posting up a picture of your burger and saying burger cult and I'm happy that you guys are finding something that you, uh, and I said this to nauseam last night, you can go back and watch my video, but if you are finding something that you enjoy, you can take a bite into every single day and love it. And you know, you're doing the right thing and you're losing weight. Awesome. Yeah. But just know that that will not work for everybody. Everyone. It will yeah. not. And I think that's where a lot of people are getting the frustration on the Facebook page. Uh, and that's basically what I want to say. Like, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, guys. No, so, there's a and there's a difference. Sorry, sorry. But I haven't talked at all, Betson. I'm just going to say this. Right. I'm sorry. Mark. There's a difference between, like Brad said, there's a difference between having a burger, a sick-ass burger is a cheap meal. Wait, you've fucking earned your burger. Go for it. Go nuts. If that's what mm -hmm. you want to have as your, as your treat meal, celebration meal, go nuts. Ash has a burger every fucking Friday, Thursday, whatever day it is, right? KFC. Wednesday. He has KFC. the greasiest, greasiest burger of all, KFC. 
There's a difference between that and saying I'm having two burgers a day, every day. That's a normal bloke. Yeah. Can't maintain that. And yes, it might be wrong to think that the person's going to take that as gospel, but there's impressionable people that come into the group. There's people that are looking for advice. And if they see I'm having two burgers a day, they think, well, fucking sweet. I'll go down to Macca's and get two. Yes, it's stupid to think. But I mean, that's, that's when you're at your last end, like Ash said, and you think this is your last shot and you're coming in seeing all that. I, look, it doesn't fucking bother. I don't give, I don't give two shits if you're eating burgers or you're not eating burgers. I don't care. It doesn't bother mm. me. But I mean, you've got to think about the people that are coming in. <clears throat> And I'll admit, some of the burgers look friggin' fantastic, and I would love to have some of the burgers. But we don't need a thousand posts a day about it. So, yeah, yeah. go, Betson. Well, like, but, oh, sorry, Betson, go. That's go. all right, go. Uh, well, I was going to say, being that the internet, what it is, we understand that this thing is going to slow down, right? We understand that. And, uh, uh, you know, Brad says, I'll slow it down, but uh, what happens if the dude is on his last attempt has always been struggled with? I want to eat X, but it's so bad for me I'm not allowed. Then he realized he can eat burgers daily, healthy burgers, balanced macro, low calorie burgers, and have this uh, cake and eat it too. Um, th the problem with that kind of th thinking is that it has worked for you, it's worked, and it may work for a lot of people to have a burger maybe once, twice a week if they really want to have their burgers or everything like that. But if you ask, speak to any doctor, any nutritionist, unfortunately, that is not a healthy balance of food that you should be incorporating with your diet and teaching yourself to incorporate with this whole food pyramid thing. And, uh, like, that's, you know, me trying to think from, a, you know, a nutritionist kind of, point but i am no nutritionist so ryan you go before i say something stupid see the thing the thing for me is i understand how this works and i understand because we know that even the man shake themselves have picked it up and they've ran with ran with as well like brad got a cool little shout out and whatnot and i get it because it's fucking marketable like the idea of lose weight while eating burgers is a hundred percent marketable. And yes, for Brad, it worked. And I, I appreciate Brad coming through. I'm not, I'm not calling you a name and shaming you, Brad, specifically, by the way, you are the leader of the cult. It's the same reason, the reason we would point you out, but there are so many additional variables that come with that. Like it's not, you know, lose weight, need burgers, asterisks. No one reads the asterisks. Because the asterisk is, I did X amount of steps, I do X amount of exercise, I work here, I have healthy burgers that have taken macros, taken this, taken that. Because the average person, we, we know, you look at the internet, people read headlines and that's it, right? Not everyone is going to put the meticulous level of detail that Brad has put into constructing his burger, looking at the weight and this and that, and you, think, you know, making sure whatever's in there hits a, a particular calorie density, right? Caloric density. So for many, if they were to come in, and like I said, there are, there are quite impressionable people. There are people that are coming in for their journey, as as everyone has said here, and they, they come in and they they see that as, as simple as, as it is, right? They're like, oh, wait, I can eat burgers? Cool. But pe people may not understand that they have to eat certain burgers, cooked certain ways, using certain ingredients. Um, yeah, this is not me dismissing like this journey and i know there's a couple other people in in the in the group that use it as well and the argument of it's the same as birthday cake when it comes out fuck yeah it is i'm fucking sick of birthday cakes in terms of all those posts me too i love, I love birthday cake and i love the excitement <laughs> because yeah. you know the man shake is the man shake is built on community we are here every second monday based on community and burger cult is an extension of that community and i completely endorse the shit out of that however not everyone's in it you know at least with the man shakers group everyone that's in there is all about the man shake and shake yeah you know mm. what i'm saying so it's like yeah you not there has been like if you want to have a separate group which you, which you've i'm not like saying you must be excluded but like if you've got over there go nuts over there burger cult the shit out of it you also have to be respectful of other others in the group that aren't on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like in terms of in terms of Ash's point, when it comes to uh, you know the 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 food food bit pyramid nutritionist, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm a biologist. But I can tell you that like you need more than just a burger, and that's why you got to switch it up. But once if it works for you and you can hit all those variables. 
mad. Oh, you Brad, you are the see, anomaly. Brad, like, and what you're saying there in your comment right there, um, uh, you're welcome to your opinions, and I just don't want the dudes who are losing weight on, on this to give up because they're being told by the kings. We're not the kings. We're just four blokes. That, Actually, and I'm, no, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to put this straight out there. Can I have none of this passive aggressive shit in the group? Like none of these snarky comments, we're adults. Like, notice how the argument, the, the points we're making here, we're making them as adults. We're not sitting here shitting, being sarcastic or being snarky. It's just be adults, man. That's it. I'm, I'm sorry. I know that's like a bit rude of me, and it really is, and I'm sorry. But like, come on. Like, so I understand that for, for the moment, these guys... This part of their identity, and that's rad. I look, PlayStation is my identity, but I don't come and yell petition everywhere. Sorry, I've got myself all fucking agitated. That's okay, okay. right? Okay. So it's all good. <clears throat> like, we, like, and what I was what I was trying to get to is that, um, you know, the, as I said at the beginning, there are different ways that people will lose weight. There's no one size fits all. The fact that you can find something that you like and you enjoy is the most important thing. If it helps you lose the weight, then so be it. But just understand, and this is all I, all that I'm hoping to get across here, is that understand that not every single person, all the 8,000 uh, 8, members on the Man Shakers page wants to see 50 burgers on their Facebook feed when they're trying to lose weight. And that is that is the only like kickback that I've seen from members, from the messages that we've gotten, from the reports that have come through on that page, uh, that is direct feedback from members. I understand that, right? Okay. I'm all for it. And Brad, you know I'm all for it. We've had this conversation and Fat Chat, we've had this conversation last night. We've had it over Messenger. Awesome. Get other people involved. Burger Cult, awesome. But just guys, take it easy a little bit on the on the Facebook posting. That's that's all we're trying to get at. Is that like the the birthday cake shake? You know, when it goes nuts, yeah, I get sick of it too. Everybody. But the difference does. is Ash, right? Yeah, but the difference it, is it the specific difference with that is birthday cake is a man shake flavor. It's man shank. People yeah. are excited about man shake. There is it's a, a difference shake. there. It's a man shake. Yes, it gets. Group. And I'll admit, yeah. I love birthday cake. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's my favorite flavor ever. Yes, the post got annoying as shit, but I mean that's mm. a man shake product. That's not, mm. you know what I mean? Like there is a difference there. Yeah. There is a difference there. We're we're all men, guys. We're all yeah. men, and just understand that, like you know, we like we the man shakers page is a group outside of Facebook. Even though it's on Facebook, there's not that one uppy, passive aggressive, snarky, you know, troll half trolly type comments in that group, right? And we just don't want to see that, our, like the Man Shakes page, the one that has helped thousands of blokes lose weight, turn into something which really is not what it's meant to be. And that's, I think, you know, yeah. Um, but yeah, Jared Cleveland saying, Ryan just reminded me of dad losing his shit at me and Ash reminded me of mom telling me, <laughs> telling me off in a nice, calm voice saying you effed up as a kid. Yeah. So the, Ryan, Ryan was angry because he just doesn't, he can't control his emotions. So, yeah. I, I, look, I, I, you know, I love all you guys and you know that, you know, um, but just stop being dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh god. Anyway, let's get off one. this topic and give away something. Really? Yeah, yeah. Let's, give, you know, let's give away some shit. Let's, let's give some shit. bring the mood back up. How that's are we it. gonna do this? Ash, do you have the wheel there? No, but oh, I've got, got the it. I've got I'll the picker pick thing I'll, here. I've got the picker thing. Oh, you got the picker? I'll, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll do it. Uh, look, I've got the wheel here. I'll Pick hold it up like I did the other way, yeah. and we'll okay. we'll do a spin, and then we'll uh, I'll go. Okay. Oh, I haven't I haven't got the freaking thing up. Hold on. We got got it in time. Reptile Maddie. Reptile Matty, get in. You out there, Matt? <laughs> you out there, Matt? there, Matt? Reptile Matty, get in. I don't even know where this works anymore. He's here. Yes, he's here. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah. He's here. All right, let's 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 see whether it spins. Hey. hey. Solid spin. Yeah, wow. 
Jesus. Uh, yellow. What's yellow? yellow? What yellow is? Yellow is ash. It yellow? Yeah. Well, it's, it's red, red now, but what's better, yellow or red? Uh, I would say, I don't know. What's red? What's red I don't again? Know. Uh, I've got to go to the wheel. Hold on. Hold on. Um, <laughs> red is starter. Man, man starter pack starter or pack. the two bad. Yeah, man starter pack. There you go. Boom. There you go. Man Boom. starter pack. There you go, brother. Um, uh, cool. It looked gold. Shut up, mate. We're giving you the starter pack. <laughs> Look gold. <laughs> nice try. Look gold. Oh, the Matildas just started, chat. Oh, that's a semi, too. Oh. Now, are, are, we, are we watching the Olympics? I have. Hey. No, that's the thing. At the start nice. of it, I. I didn't. I'll see Ash. I'm Ash gonna go. Like, Fuck our cameras Olympics. are all gonna screw up now. You watch, Ash. Yeah, when no, you leave but, Skype, uh, mate. When you leave Skype, it, it holds your picture. So do a funny face when you hit end. <laughs> you gotta hit end when you do yeah, it. Right? No, do that. And yeah, then hold on. Them. No, I'm gonna say. Hi, everybody. Okay. I hope you're well. And uh, yeah, I, I'll see you guys when I'm next looking at you. But all right. Look after yourself, Ash. Oh. Did I click it? No. no yeah, we clicked it. <laughs> There we go. Perfect. Yes. Hold yes. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no, I got a few oh, person in the camera. Up, I got a few person in the camera. That's all right. I'll fix him. Uh, where is he? There. We go. Back in your box, Betson. There you go. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I have been. I didn't watch it at the start because for me, it felt a little bit wrong watching the Olympics with all the shit going on at the moment. Like, it just did. Um, but having said that, I've been watching it the last like four or five days and I've been right into it. So, <laughs> and I turned to soccer off the other night. It was, we were up 1 0 and then it was 2 1 against us. And I thought, ah, oh, well, we've lost. And then I got disappeared. It was 4 3. We won. I couldn't believe it. So, um, I want to bring up a question that was in the chat from Ooh, yes, M, M earlier. She said, on how have, have any of us got the winter blues? And have you found that it's been a lot harder during winter for motivation? Uh, not, not the winter blues. I just got the lockdown. I just got the shit of the. I'm sick of it. Yeah. I'm like one that through this whole COVID thing, right? I haven't really been. I've been into coals and work, and that's pretty much it. I haven't been one mm. of those people that goes to twenty different Bunningses and do this and do that and go to barbecues galore and all that sort of shit. So for me, still being in a lockdown when I've been one of the good ones is a little bit irritating and it has gotten to me. And I did have a little blow up today in our private chat. Um, I'm just, I'm over lockdown. I'm over homeschooling. I'm just, mm. yeah, I'm just, if I didn't have this outlet that I do every night out here and uh, I would probably be a very, very stir crazy. I'm lucky that I get to chat to a lot of people every night and it keeps me a little bit mm. sane. Winter blues, not so much. Just general shits. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so I'm, think... I'm. Oh, go ahead. You go. No, 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 no. no, no. You go first. You... No, please go. You go, Ryan. Oh, I was, I was just going. Like I said, I, I don't tend to get like seasonal, like depression or anything. I just have regular depression like all the time. Mm. So it's kind of different. But uh, yeah, like I, I understand that there are people that can like have those fluxes as as times get certain, you know, certain times of the year. But. Uh, mm. You know, it, it's especially when it's a you're not just it's not just shitty. You're also stuck at home, and then you've got a bunch of other existential shit. Like right now, we look into the world and it's fucked. Mm -hmm. Like I know that sounds really nuts, but it's fucked. And yeah, yeah. and look, if you look across Australia right now, it seems we we thought we were on the pl on the good side, but it just happens to be getting worse. So if you do happen to feel a little bit shitty right now, that's cool. That's cool, man. Just got to find, you got to find those things, find, use that mindfulness, find those things that get you yeah. going, whether it be watching four dudes bullshit about fucking burgers and get really <laughs> unnecessarily mad about it. Like do that or, you know, uh, do what I do. So I said, yeah. someone was talking about the fake booze being, uh, sorry, the fake crowd being piped in. I've watched wrestling all mm. of lockdown and all they've done is pipe fake crowds in. It's disgusting. Right. But like, find your thing. So myself and my friends, we all watch stuff together on Discord. Like we sit, we watch stuff. Like we just ran through the entire series of Rostered On, which is this great little uh, show. Oh, I've never watched that. I've never watched that. It's made no. in one pond. It's made. It was made near my house. It's oh, I've got to watch it. So good. 
It is fantastic. But you know what I mean? You got to find those little things. And mm. like right now, when we shit's all kind of fucked, find the things that work. And if that, because it's one of those things, there is a synergistic nature between your mental health and your physical health. And if your mental health is well, your physical health will get better. And once you once you get like that 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 good mental health going, you will feel that little bit more motivated to keep uh where where you're at like even if you're like as lloyd said you know he's not getting he may not have been getting those steps in but you can at least maintain where you are just if you're in that right mindset to to work within the what you have at that moment yeah. it's yeah. fucking hard it's yeah. going to be hard yeah. I, I will say that during winter motivation to get outside when the weather is cold and rubbish <clears throat> it is a hell of a lot harder over winter time um, and especially like I always, my routine was, I would have dinner and then I would go out for a walk during winter when there's no daylight savings, that doesn't happen because I'm not going out for a walk when it's pitch black at half past five. Um, mm. yeah, so I, I do get a little bit of the winter blues. Um, and I do, I think I struggle with a bit of motivation to get up and going, um, but yeah, yeah, it's it's it is a tough one. But like what Ryan said, you just got to try and do what works for you, and and just try and plan your day out, and just keep your mind busy. Because mm. um, like I, I find if I don't plan if I don't plan my day, and it's just sit on the couch or just kind of twiddle my thumbs, I'll just gravitate to the fridge, or I'll gravitate to the cupboard, and I'll eat oh, the yeah. wrong shit, or just mm. too much of the wrong shit, and I'm not moving around shit, and not doing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly right. You can have too much of the good shit. You can have a cupboard full of bloody healthy stuff, but if you're packing in too much, you're Even just half a jar of Mavis. You need to check yourself. I had two apples, <laughs> two apples today, and I'm like, oh, I am a bit of Mavis, a bit of Mavis, and I'm like, oh shit, that's a fair bit of Mavis I've just had there. Yeah, yeah, that's um, it. Yeah. Uh, question: uh, Starting strength weights workouts this week. I have access to a gym now. What have you guys found the best way to start and what not to do? Don't burn yourself out. That'd be my first big. Yeah, don't, don't go, go there. Yeah, don't go don't think hard. you're going to go do, you're going to cut sick five days a week and do this and do that. Like stay within your limits. Me, when I started the gym, I just did walking, cardio sort of stuff and then did weight machines and then moved on to free weights. But yeah, uh, number one tip, just don't burn yourself out. Some people go so hard trying to catch up to get where they want to get. You'll get there in time. Just don't burn yourself out. Plus, keep in mind if you are doing weights that there's a possibility that your weight loss won't drop as much. You'll be making progress. You'll be making more muscle. You'll be losing fat. But there's a good chance that the scales won't move. So just be mentally prepared for that as well. Yeah. So like for me, my like from the way I've been doing it, because well, when we're not <clears throat> being in lockdown, mm. um, so I... I I kind of try to even it up a little bit. So I'll go and I'll do 30 minutes on the treadmill, which will either be walking or a little with, you know, interstitial some running in there as well to really get that, that shit going. Now, ideally, if you want to just do like, if you wanted to just get big as in like big, like muscly, you wouldn't do that much cardio. You would just do like 10 minutes to warm yeah. up and then you would yeah. go and do weights. Yeah. <clears throat> but for me, it's trying to do that mix of both. It's trying to tone up while keep the, the, the weight loss going. So that cardio at the start really does help. You won't have, you, you won't be as energized to go and lift the weights, but it's a good start. So the way it should, I forget what the exact term is, but the idea is start easy or al always do a warm up with just the bar. If you're doing say bench pressing or something. Same start goes to the low. bedroom too. Yeah. Same goes to the bedroom. Yep. Warm up with the bar before you get into it. Warm up, yeah. Warm up. Get make sure you get your stretches in. No, just like start easy, and then like do do something that you know you can get like X amount of reps out of. So the way I do, I work in sets of eight. So I go and I do and I do approximately five sets of eight. And I, it's what it, what's a cool when there's a name for it when you start little and then, and then you your very last set is you just fucking trying your hardest. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's it's a it's a slow you go for that slow burn because just going straight for something that's super heavy you're like Ugh! you're just gonna either bust your asshole or or break yourself so go slow because it it will be a longer run 
But if you use a, a, an app, like I use an app called Heavy, H-E-V-Y, I think, or H-V-Y, and you can put in, so I look at from when I started the year and where I am now, and you see that incline. It feels slow, but you find, like yesterday, I moved my, I moved a washing machine. I went, huh, uh, oh, wow, that, like that was fucking sex easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> mm. In that, that slow build is where it's at. Yeah. Don't expect to get jacked. Yeah. Just slowly. Because I, I know, Lloyd, you were going and doing some weights and stuff as well, yeah? I was, yeah, yeah. So when I, when I got down to about 102, I think it was. I Progressive was... overload. Thank you, Jane. <laughs> yeah, she'll, she'll know. She's all over the bloody weights. Um, I When I got to about 102, I was sitting between 102 and 105 for ages, uh, for months. And I was trying to increase my activity um i was making sure that all my meals and everything were spot on but i just couldn't i couldn't get below that 100 that 100 kilos so i started going to the gym uh started doing a bit more weights uh just kind of a, a mixture of a mixture of everything um had a personal trainer put me on a put me on a plan um and i was going with that and it was good and i was getting the mo momentum and i was enjoying it um but I wasn't, I wasn't dropping the weight. My weight was actually going up. Um, but looking at photos and also measuring, I was getting a lot trimmer mm. and my pant sizes were going smaller. My shirt sizes were going smaller, but my muscle, my muscle mass was just going up. Yeah. So if you um, are someone that's still hung up on the scales, be, be aware of that. Like it's going exactly to fuck right. with you. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So just, yeah, the scales, the scales, uh, like I really wanted to get below that 100 kilos, but I think my body was just telling me other things. I think my yeah. body was just saying, "This is where, this is where you need to be. This is your healthy, this is your healthy weight." Um, I think I'm there now, or maybe I'll probably get a little, a little more out. So I'm, I'm gonna sit. I probably because you and I are very similar in height. Lord. Yeah, we are. Yeah, and we're very similar in height and structure, and yeah, so I, broad, yeah. broad across the chest, and yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So it's, it's like it's one of those, it's one of those things. So always be mindful on the scales because they they can be a real head fuck and they can really they can drag you down to be honest. Mm. So I think I think um, getting the old um, the old bloody tailor's bloody measuring tape that's clothes are the best thing. Clothes and pants are the best thing. Yeah, like, they really yeah, exactly. are. Like scales are just yeah. a number. And the belt. And you'll, you'll see your belt bloody notches going further and further down so everyone's tied up with everyone's tied up with numbers nowadays numbers for everything numbers mean numbers have so much power and like really yeah they shouldn't when it like i know that it's so stupid to say that but i mean like we are on weight loss journeys but i mean like numbers it, it's just a number on a scale like clothes um mm -hmm. belts how you look at yourself in the mirror um you know um that tells so much more of a story than and scales any uh, scales ever will like scales will mess with your head and yeah. i've said that many many yeah. times um yeah, but yeah it, it is yeah. one of those things like i i went and bought some new new clothes today because i was like i had to like i need to fucking buy myself some shit you know what was it uh uh, uh what's it from parks and rex parks and rec um and i treat yourself right treat yourself. so i went i went to johnny big because there's one here in geelong i've almost sized out of johnny big nice like today, I picked up an XL shirt. They don't sell any smaller. I picked Perfect. up a pair of pants that were a 38. They're a bit too big. I'm going to have to go back and get a 36. Perfect. They don't sell yeah, any. You're looking, you looking sharp in that photo too, by the way. Also, big thank you to everyone that liked the post I did the other day. I appreciate that I too. But like, it's one of those things like, you know, <laughs> I, I have been the same weight range for a couple of months now. And like it goes up and down, but it stays within this kind of little little, little space. But then you go and you try those shirts on. You try those pants on. You go... I feel fucking fantastic. Yeah. And that, and that, and that's, that's where it comes from. Um, so someone else in the chat mentioned about, mo uh, uh, was it, uh, a uh, uh, Wayne early about stretching and shit. Uh, I, don't know. I didn't see it. There was something about like, has anyone tried any mobility? Or oh, stretching? does anyone? Yeah. Mobility, uh, any good programs around try DDP, uh, but it was a bit cheesy and couldn't get into it. That was from Wayne, uh, K Kuma. Yeah, so as a massive wrestling yeah. dork, um, the DDP stuff was beautiful for me. <laughs> but I'm a giant wrestling nerd, so that's that's would be for me. Like I know Ash, if he wasn't so shocked at what's going on below Jerd, um, 
he would he would agree the DDP is a thing. But I don't. How about you guys? Um, I haven't no, tried the DDP stuff. No. Um, I have done. I have done like some of the um, like Pilates and like the what do you call it? Um, tai Chi. Tai Chi. Oh, yeah, sort of. Oh, um, really? Oh, so I was just throwing a word out. Yeah. Oh, what was? Oh, geez, what is it called? Capoeira. Kind of like yoga, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Dance fighting. Yeah. Um, the Adam West the, School of Dance some of the Fighting. Stuff on YouTube and and the Manshake. Uh, not the Manshake. Uh, yeah. Well, the Manshake Man have stuff on their on their YouTube channel um, quite often. So doing the the Man Challenge usually every second day. Uh, instead of doing like the squats and stuff like that, they were doing like a lot of stretching and and um, stuff like that. So yeah, like, just like you'll be surprised how dope stretching is because yeah, exactly the, right. The thing that I found throughout this journey is I, I can I now understand my body better. I mean that in like how shit is supposed to move. Mm. My wife's like, saying oxygeno, get on to oxygeno, and I have seen her. I have seen her do that, and yeah, it's pretty pretty intense. Like, it's just, yeah, just one of those things like when you realize that like, you know, when you're bigger, like, you, you know, your arms would push out. So your your arm rotation is less. But now that it's all by the side, like there's so much more that you can do. Scratching your own back too. I mean, just yeah, something scratch as simple as scratching your own back. Scratch like, your own back. Yeah. It's just like one, once you sort of get that like flexible, not, not even flexibility, just like a little bit of more movement in the muscles. Mm. It's like mm. nuts. It's good. Mm. Planking too. I used to like planking, and that used to hurt like an absolute bastard at the gym. I used yeah, to. Oh, you want to? You want to? I like plank. Hard. I'd have my stopwatch like on my phone, like near my face, and I'd be planking over my stopwatch, staring at it, going, "Okay, okay." You think it, that's not easy? What a, yeah, I used to love the, the the push up planks. So you'd you'd plank for like thirty seconds, forty five seconds, and then you do like five push up, and then go back into a plank, and like just the sweat would just be. Pissing oh, up. See, I never did that. I just did those like full arm planks. I didn't do the old bar. I did like the full oh, arm did you? planks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No. You get up to like a minute and a half and you're like, yeah, my arms are screaming now. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> I hate I, this. Having said all that though, chat, seriously, I'm going to give you a bit of advice. Just get active. Just start fucking walking. If you want to start somewhere, just start walking. Yeah, yeah go to Jimmy. You can do all this shit. You can do whatever else you want to do, but walking. Just get on your feet. Put your shoes on and just go for a walk. A yeah. semi-fast-paced walk. But Go I mean, out, like, mow know. the lawns. Go uh, do some whizzy dizzies with your kids. And I just... wrestle I wrestle my kid every day. Like, he and I just yeah. get tussling. And, like, you, you'd be surprised how intense your heart rate goes. Mostly because right. he's, <laughs> like, he's got that energy that just kicks my ass. Mm. Like, he yeah. ne he, he'll he never take a pin, that piece of shit. He always kicks out it, too. Like, he'll no. never let me win. Just need to suplex him off the, top, off the top turnbuckle. <laughs> That'll sort it out. Or go and get chased by plovers. That works as well. If you want to blow out your shoulder. <laughs> That's it. Um, are you singing tonight, Lloyd? Or yeah, I'll sing a okay, song. Cool. Um, no, I actually got suggested a. Uh, so hey, hey, Mr. I do daily weigh-ins, and it's similar to why Betsy. No, I hey. like numbers and data, and I'm at a point mentally that if I have a weight gain, it doesn't affect me. Lots of uh. things affect your weight, but I've come to terms with it. And daily weigh-ins are just as important to me as the two men checks today. Uh. Once again, see that that is almost that is almost identical to the discussion around the burger cult, right? For me, daily weigh-ins are my shit because it allows me to look at what I ate yesterday or what I did yesterday and then correlate it to a number. And then that that I can see trends, I can see patterns, I can see how my body fluxes throughout a week. But for many, that would fucking break them. So like even I can't, my I can't advice shake my head I can't shake my head fast enough. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Man. Even my suggestion of maybe you should do daily weigh-ins. That's like a that's not good. That's not good for anyone. No. Like, you know, same advice. So there's the sweet hypocrisy of me getting the shits up on the burger cult. And there's me like, hey, you could do that, but probably don't. Oh, Haim, Haim, Haim. I love you, buddy, but oh, man. Hey, if Haim can do it and not have a problem, there's that too. But you, you, there's a lot of pretty work in your, in, you have to have a pretty good brainness to, to take that one. Mm. Yeah, it's Go tough. On. Um, what are you up to this week, Betson? What do you got going on? Uh, not a whole lot for me. So uh, a new episode of the PlayStation podcast went up this morning uh, with talks that uh, the Horizon Forbidden West is being delayed into next year. So we bullshit about that. We talk about an, a game that just came out called Trigger Witch, 
which is this really awesome twin stick shooter uh, in this world where uh, witches, but all mysticism is replaced with guns. And it's called ballisticism. And you go around and just kill a bunch of things. And there's a great, humongous twist at the end. Uh, it was written by the game itself, was written by a friend of mine. Um, so I'm a little bit biased, but uh, go check it out. It's dope. I don't know, I think I'm going to go see Suicide Squad this week, too, which would be exciting. Oh, okay. Yeah. They got another movie out, have they? Yeah, it's apparently it's rating real well. Like John Cena's in it, which is a big tick for me because, okay. you know, I haven't like, even seen there's the a bunch of good. Oh, no. don't see the first one. No, this mm. one's apparently essentially a reboot. Okay. okay. What are you doing this week, Lloyd? Um, no, no, not much. Not, not, no real plans there, to be honest. I'll do my stream on Twitch Wednesday and Friday. Um, they've been heaps of fun. I've been really enjoying do, uh, doing the Wednesday and Friday slog. Um, but yeah, other than that, bugger all, bugger all. Just take day by day. There's no point in making plans because shit could hit the fan the next day. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you make another plans. John Lennon once said that's that and never right. the true exactly. word being spoken. That's it. Exactly. Um, yes, I think, uh, hey, yes, I think my episode on the Manshake podcast in the audio form is um, out sometime. It's the next episode up, episode 4 a.m. So if you're listening hey. to that, you'll get me on the next episode um, if you haven't had enough of me already. Um, I am streaming every night this week. I'm doing Red Dead and then on... Thursday night, I'm giving away a copy of Formula One 2021 on PC, and we're playing that on Friday night. So if you're out there and want to win, chance to is win. Is that in Formula the Jerdmobile? I'll be in the. I have my. I got my wheel down here. You can't probably can't see it. The wheel's down there. Yes. So that's on. I'll be giving that away on Thursday night, and then we'll be doing F1 2021 on PC on Friday night. Um. Also, we're not going to be back here before then. Um, every year Uber does a massive um, Starlight charity stream. I'm part of that this year and I'm doing a 24-hour stream on Saturday the 14th. I'm going to put a link in chat here if, if anyone would be so kind out there. There's a link there. Uh, the Manshakes just posted it there. I'm doing a 24-hour stream um, and I've got, I've got an absolute butt-ton of games to give away. Um, if, I, if I raise... I've set to figure at three grand, which is pie in the sky stuff. Three grand. If I raise three grand in those 24 hours, I'm shaving this live on stream. What, the whole head? The so, straight to buzz? Wait, I, you, I, you, you mean to buzz? Can you do the eyebrows? No, I'm not going bald. <laughs> I'm not going bald. I'll do like a number four all over. Right, go on. Oh, I'll, do the, I'll do the beard and the hair same length. <gasps> number four. Three grand. Oh. So that's coming up um, Saturday the 14th. It's going to look like Jerd of, Jerds of Anarchy or something. I'll it's just get the shaver and just go, my missus is not happy. So um, <laughs> she's not, she's not happy. Mrs. J is not very happy. So chat. Um, I, I am it, liking it, this long hair, but you're looking. I always had long hair, but it's so straight now. It was always curly. It's so straight now. I've got that. Everyone says it's a mullet. It's not a mullet if your whole hair is that long. That's not a mullet. That's called lockdown. <laughs> that's called can't be bothered. <laughs> Um, this yeah, is so that'll be, lockdown. That'll that. be on Saturday, the 14th. <laughs> um, but you can donate now if you want to donate. It's for Starlight, so it's a very important issue. Um, there'll be a big week. Um, yeah, Uber's, Uber's does it every year. I'm, um, I'm joining up with him now with a few other streamers as well. Um, so Saturday will be my 24 hour stream. I'm going to play some games with the kids, maybe some Mario Kart, and then I'm going to a whole bunch of different things. There'll be game giveaways. I've just been given word that I've got eight games to give away and I've probably got another maybe five or six on the way to give away and man shake. So Jared, man shake away too. what if you make the three K and you shake rather than shave your whole head off, you make it the most tremendous mullet. I like baby, short, just short sides, trim that shit up flat, flatten that top, yeah. leave the back long. That way miss, you thought Mrs. Jerd was shitty. Now I would you do, wait till you, I would no do a mullet. mullet. I would do a mullet for 3000. Yeah. Like a trip, like a fucking yeah. That's beautiful. for the kids. I, I would do a mullet for the kids. It's for Starlight, and I'll do it live on stream. So yes. there you go. Anyway, don't mullet. I know a lot of people excited. doing it. I learned a lot of people doing it hard. So I've and set it. You, I've set, I've set the bar really high. You wait till Jared gets a mullet. You'll see how hard it is. Yeah. I've set the <laughs> like bar really hard. high. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to get people to donate, but like I set it high enough that it's like it doesn't happen. But, oh, but I've learned, yeah, if I've learned anything, anything's also... possible. We're still waiting for a tattoo, aren't we, Jerd? I've got to get the tattoo too, yes. We, but how, <laughs> the, the question is, how long will you have the mullet? I will keep, like, the, mullet it, and, I will keep the mullet until lockdown's over. 
Oh, this could be a long mullet. I'm excited. <laughs> Mrs. J doesn't know. It. I hope she's not watching. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Beautiful. So there you go. What are you singing, um, Lloyd? <laughs> well, I actually got requested this one. And I'm not going to say what it is yet. But I think it is. I think it's a bit fitting for how the episode's gone tonight. I should have. I should have been playing this a little bit earlier. So okay. you'll just have to wait. You'll have to wait and see. Oh, God. <laughs> it could have been your theme song tonight, uh, Betson. Yes. What is it? Why so fucking angry? <laughs> no. Is it, is it Bjork? Um, it's so quiet. It's so <laughs> <laughs> uh, Is it All my right. chemical romances? I'm not okay. No, it's not. Ah, uh, lame. All right. Oh, Are sorry. I'll go, sorry, I'll go over here, Lloyd. Sorry, mate. Oh, that's all right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Just a fresh oh, reminder that Tim's gone. What's going on over all here? Right, no, no. There he is. Stopping the auto scroll. There we go. There we all go. Right. Perfect. We got it. Rising up back on the street. Did my time, took my chances. Went the distance, now I'm back on my feet Just a man and his will to survive So many times it happens too fast You change your passion for glory Don't lose your grip, the dreams of the past You must fight just to keep them alive It's the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight Rising up to the challenge of our rivals And the last known survivor stalks the prey in the night And he's watching us all with the eye Of the the tiger (laughs) Face to face, out in the heat Hanging tough and staying hungry They stack the odds till they take to the street For the kill, with the skill to survive It's the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight Rising up to the challenge of a rival And the last known survivor stalks the prey in the night And he's watching us all with the eye Oh, the tiger. Oh. Hello, Adrian. <laughs> he did it. Adrian, Adrian. Adrian. Did it. Ash is loving it. Look at Ash. He's loving it. Look at him. He's fucking baffled. He, but he's, he's confused. Did it come from pumped. George? Did it come from Lloyd? Yeah, he's pumped, isn't he? He's pumped. Um, all right. Yeah, we're done. We're done. Another one in the can. Uh, thank you, Chant. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we're gonna, didn't we only do like one giveaway? Just... Oh, fuck it, let's go then. Okay, this will be for the people that hung around. Look, this, look yeah. half the people are left. Look, here we go. Uh, ring and ring. Who got it? Warren, are you Warren! still here? Warren? Warren, Warren, are you still here? Warren, yeah, sorry, a minute ago, I think. Warren, Warren. Warren, Warren Nahu. Warren was a... Been seeing heaps of was, was There was a... shitloads of uh, bloody man-shake ads was with him a... shaking his stuff during the uh, Olympics. A... Did anyone else see any of the man-shake no, ads? No, I've been watching no. on 7 online, so maybe I didn't... Oh, really? Oh, oh, yeah, okay. I, I saw that, like, some... Yeah, uh, I forget who shared it in the group, but, uh, yeah, like, to some footy show, just getting the big old rub. With the not so did subtle place. Yeah, yeah, I did, did see, see that. that. Yeah, that was yeah, great. I did see that. <laughs> Warren here. Was, oh, where are you? He's not like, here. What? He left he's early. Like... Oh, no, early. Warren. Well, when you leave early, you got to stay All around right. to the end. It's the after credits scene, see? Redraw. It's, it's the Marvel it's scene. This is the Marvel so after credits scene right now. This is oh. the MCU, the man shaped cinematic right. universe. Well, we'll redraw then. Redraw. Uh, let's go. Boop. And boop. Too late now, it's redraw. Redrawn. Oh, he's just coming. Benny Cox. <laughs> oh. Are you here, Benny? I'll allow it. Is Benny here? We'll do two. We'll, they can have hey, two Benny. bags each. They can have two you bags here, each. Benny? They can have two, two bags, bags each. 
can have two Benny, bags each. If Benny's still here, though. Warren. If Benny's still here. If Benny's not, not here. Four bags for Warren. Though. Yeah, so Warren either gets four <laughs> bags or two bags based on Benny Cox. <laughs> Benny here. We can't see the chat, Jed. Oh, shit. Okay, sorry. I want to see if he pops up in that chat. All right. All right. Okay. Oh, I'm looking, looking at brother. the main. I'm looking at the main. Oh, Benny Charles, so close. Oh, almost, Benny. Uh, you got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Warren, four bags. Warren. Four, bags. Four, bags. four bags, Warren. Four bags, mate. There you go. Beautiful. Well done, Wallace. That's the way we roll. That's the way we roll. All right, there we go. Uh, all, all done, all done. Um, see you in two weeks. Um, like I said, 14th August. Come on in to Twitch. If not, donate now if you can. That I would appreciate it greatly. I'll put the link in there one more time just because it's for the kids. It's for the kids. There it is there. Boom. Okay, that's it. See you, chat. He's on TV right see now. Get guys. the fuck out of here. I'll go see Warren. Go, 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 go. go Thanks Warren. for watching. Bye. Love you all. Bye. See you later. I think I think it's I think it's really better with just um us three to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Goodbye, chat. <laughs>